Story time, story time, it's my favorite time, spending time reading with you. Welcome to another story time with Gam Gam. Let's see what we have for today. Welcome back to story time with Gam Gam. And we have not had an Amelia and Bedelia story recently. So I thought today would be a good time to do good work, Amelia Bedelia. Remember, she does some interesting things. She takes instructions quite literally. And this story was written by Peggy Parrish, and the pictures are by Lynn Sled. Good work, Amelia Bedelia. And this story is written at a third grade reading level. This is for Sam and David Rogers with love. Amelia Bedelia called Mr. Rogers. Is the coffee ready? Come in right up, said Amelia Bedelia. She poured a cup of coffee. She took it into the living room. There, said Amelia Bedelia. Would you like something more? Yes, said Mr. Rogers. Toast and an egg. Fine, said Amelia Bedelia. She went into the kitchen. Wonder what she's going to do. Very quickly, Amelia Bedelia was back. Mr. Rogers picked up the egg. He broke it over his toast. Confound it, Amelia Bedelia. He said, I didn't say raw egg, but you didn't say to cook it, said Amelia Bedelia. That seems odd, doesn't it? Mr. Rogers threw down his napkin. Oh, go fly a kite, he said. Amelia Bedelia looked surprised. All right, she said. If you say so, do you, what do you think she's going to do? Hmm? Soon, Amelia Bedelia was out in a field. She had a kite. Now, that was nice of Mr. Rogers, she said. I do love to fly kites, but I'd better get back. Mrs. Rogers might need me. Sure enough, Mrs. Rogers was calling. Amelia Bedelia! Here I am, said Amelia Bedelia. There is a lot to do, said Mrs. Rogers. Do you know how to make bread? I make good cornbread, said Amelia Bedelia. No, I want white bread, said Mrs. Rogers. You are a good cook. Just do what the recipe says. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Here are a list of the other things I want you to do, said Mrs. Rogers. I'll be out until dinner time. Don't worry, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll get everything done. Mrs. Rogers left. I'll start with that bread, said Amelia Bedelia. She read the recipe. Do tell, she said. I never knew bread did magic things. Wonder what she's talking about. Amelia Bedelia got everything she needed. Quickly, she mixed the dough. Amelia Bedelia set the pan on the table. Now, she said, you're supposed to rise. This I've got to see. So what do you think she did? Amelia Bedelia sat down to watch. But nothing happened. Maybe you don't like to be watched. I'll come back, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's see. Amelia Bedelia got her list. Clean out the ashes in the parlor fireplace. Fill the wood box. Do you think she's supposed to put the ashes in the wood box? What do you think? Amelia Bedelia went into the parlor. She cleaned out the ashes and Amelia Bedelia filled the wood box. And it looks like she filled it with the ashes. Hmm, do you think Mrs. Rogers is going to be happy about that? That's done, said Amelia Bedelia. What's next? She read, pot the window box plants. Put the pots in the parlor. Amelia Bedelia went outside. She counted the plants. Then she went into the kitchen. My goodness, she said, I need every pot for this. So she took them all. Amelia Bedelia potted those plants and she took them inside. So do you see that she took every plant and she put them all in the pots and pans from the kitchen? Most interesting. Now, I better tend to that bread, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the kitchen, but the bread still sat on the table. Now look here, she said, you're supposed to rise. Then I'm supposed to punch you down. How can I punch if you don't rise? Amelia Bedelia sat down to think. Maybe that pan is too heavy, she said. I better help it rise. This should be interesting. Amelia Bedelia got some string. She worked for a bit and then, and that bed, bread began to rise. 
That should be high enough, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll just let you stay there a while. Amelia Bedelia picked up her list. Make a sponge cake. Amelia Bedelia read that again. I know a lot about cakes, she said, and I never heard tell of that. But if she wants a sponge cake, I'll make her a sponge cake. Amelia Bedelia put a little of this and some of that into a bowl she mixed and mixed. Now for the sponge, she said. Amelia Bedelia took a sponge. She snipped it into small pieces. There, she said, into the cake you go. Ooh, yuck. Soon the sponge cake was baking. I don't think Mr. Rogers will like this cake, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll make my kind of cake too. He does love butterscotch icing. Mmm, yummy. So Amelia Bedelia baked another cake. There now, she said. I'll surprise him. Amelia Bedelia put the butterscotch cake in the cupboard. She put the sponge cake on a shelf. My, this is a busy day, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's see what's next. Call Alcola. Ask him to patch the front door screen. Amelia Bedelia shook her head. Alcola can't patch anything, she said. I better do that myself. She got what she needed. Oh, dear. And Amelia Bedelia patched that screen. So I don't think that's what Mrs. Rogers had in mind. She patched the holes with scraps of clothing and needle and thread. I don't think they'll see out of that screen very well. Let's see what she does next. Amelia Bedelia looked at the time. Oh, she said, I better get dinner started. Let's see what she wants. She read the list. A chicken dinner will be fine. Amelia Bedelia shook her head. What will she think of next, she said. Well, that won't take long to fix. Amelia Bedelia got everything ready. She set the table, then she sat down to rest. Soon, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers came home. Amelia Bedelia, yelled Mr. Rogers. Coming, called Amelia Bedelia. What is that awful cloth on the front door, said Mrs. Rogers. You said to patch the screen, said Amelia Bedelia. Can't patch without a patch. They went into the parlor. Oh, my pots, said Mrs. Rogers. And bad ones, too. Oh, all my good pots, said Mrs. Rogers. And bad ones, too, said Amelia Bedelia. What's next? Mr. Rogers looked at the wood box. He shook his head, but he didn't say a word. They went into the kitchen. The sponge cake is pretty, said Mrs. Rogers. At least that's done right. Something caught Mr. Rogers' eyes. He looked up. What in tarnations is that? He said, the bread, said Amelia Bedelia. I plumb forgot it. Do let me punch it down quick. She climbed up on a chair. Amelia Bedelia began to punch. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers just stared. The bread plopped to the floor. Did I see what I thought I saw, said Mr. Rogers. You did, said Mrs. Rogers. Now, said Amelia Bedelia, dinner is ready when you are. Well, you can cook, said Mrs. Rogers. Dinner should be good. I hope so, said Mr. Rogers. I'm hungry. Just serve the plates, said Mrs. Rogers. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers sat at the table Amelia Bedelia brought in the plates. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers stared at the plates, but, but that's cracked corn. It's all kinds of awful things, said Mrs. Rogers. You said chicken dinner, said Amelia Bedelia. That's what chickens eat for dinner. Mrs. Rogers was too angry to speak. Take this mess away, said Mr. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers said, serve the cake and coffee. Amelia Bedelia did. Mr. Rogers took a big bite of cake. He sputtered and spit it out. What in tarnation is in that, he said. Sponge, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Mrs. Rogers said to make a sponge cake. Suddenly, Mr. Rogers laughed. He roared. Mrs. Rogers looked at the lumpy cake. Then she laughed too. But I'm still hungry, said Mr. Rogers. I can fix that, said Amelia Bedelia. I have a surprise for you. Oh, no, said Mr. Rogers. I can't stand another one, said Mrs. Rogers. 
<laughs> they had a lot of surprises. I think it was a surprising day. Amelia Bedelia brought in milk and her butterscotch cake. Ah, said Mr. Rogers. Hurry, said Mrs. Rogers. Give me some. Soon the whole cake was gone. Now who doesn't like that? Cake and coffee for dinner. Probably not a good practice all the time. How do you do it, Amelia Bedelia, said Mr. Rogers. One minute, we're hopping mad at you, and the next, we know we can't do without you, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia smiled. I guess I just understand your ways. Well, thank you for joining me for the very unusual story of good work, Amelia Bedelia. And I hope that when you are following directions, you're actually doing what they are expecting of you. Sometimes it's not what they say or how they say it, but what is meant to be accomplished by what is said. You have a great day. I love you. Good night.